today is uh, kind of an important day here at Marlar House. I am very happy to announce we have now had 25 days without a coffee maker related injury. <laughs> yeah. And a whole year without a coffee maker related fatality. <laughs> Way to go, guys. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Your Haunted Lives – True Tales of the Paranormal by G. Michael Vasey, a collection of creepy, often downright chilling true experiences of the strange and weird that will keep you looking over your shoulder. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Burger King and Popeyes have both promised to stop using chickens injected with antibiotics by the end of the year. <laughs> Who knew sick chickens could taste so delicious? In Hudson Bend, Texas, a 30-year-old man made the huge mistake of falling asleep while nude on a boat dock under the blazing sun. He finally awoke to find second-degree burns on 40 percent of his body and had to be taken to the hospital by helicopter. Second-degree burns are described as open blisters. Two words – sunscreen. Oh, another two words – wear clothes. Police in Cincinnati say Jamila Turnbow was attacked simply because of what she was wearing. No, it wasn't sexy, hot pants and a halter top. It was actually a very modest set of dark overalls. But she had the misfortune of walking by just as a police officer let one of the police dogs loose to answer the call of nature. The outfit Jamila was wearing had a strong resemblance to the bite suit used during canine training, so the dog reacted as he had been trained – and attacked. Jamila got a three-inch cut on her upper right arm from the attack, but Police Sergeant Daniel Hills stated in a memo to police higher-ups that her attire and the dog's response doesn't excuse what he describes as the canine officer's lack of attention and control of his canine partner. Hills is recommending a reprimand and has ordered that no police dogs be allowed off their leash in public. And that sound you hear? That's the dripping of saliva coming from the mouths of the personal injury attorneys who are just lining up at Jamila's front door right about now. A woman in China claims to be the oldest living person in the world and supposedly turns 131 this week. She's so old she could be Mel Brooks' mother, and he turned 91 this week. China's challenge to Samsung and Apple is becoming available in the U.S. The OnePlus 5 that comes with a starting price tag of $479 for a 64GB model. Plus, being from China, you also get the added benefit of the phone including LED at no extra charge. In Essex, England, a 17-year-old high school senior girl was so upset about the prospect of receiving her first school detention, she had a heart attack. No kidding. Tabitha McElliott was unaware she had a heart condition that could have killed her at any minute. Things got rough when she got caught sneaking out of school without permission. Tabitha said, "...when we got to the gates, I could hear my teacher calling my name, and my heart started hammering. I felt my legs turning to jelly, and then everything went black. I now know my heart was a ticking time bomb waiting to go off." Luckily, a paramedic got to Westcliff High School for girls within three minutes to restart the teenager's heart. She was hospitalized and experts later diagnosed a rare condition that causes the body to pump blood around the heart the wrong way. Just 10 percent of sufferers survive beyond their first birthday, but amazingly, Tabitha has now made a full recovery following surgery. Talk about having a twinkle in your eye! An optometrist at India's Shekhar Eye Research Center has developed diamond-encrusted, gold-plated contact lenses. No kidding! Inspired by the jewels in his wife's teeth, the exotic eyewear will set you back $15,000 a pair. Plus, you get the added benefit of looking like you're possessed by the devil. <laughs> That's always a good thing. In Playstyle, New Hampshire, a thief who stole a woman's wallet in a supermarket showed up at her door a few days later to return her $90, a GPS, and brought along an apology letter. The wallet was stolen from the 61-year-old woman's shopping cart, and while it was later found at a Massachusetts post office, the money was gone. Well, days later, when the victim answered a knock at her door, a man said he was sorry, returned her belongings, gave her the long letter, and fled. 
police say he probably found her address in the wallet. Now, While our victim is happy to have her stuff back, she is a little nervous that the thief knows where she lives. And despite his remorseful act, if the police catch him, he still faces charges. So it's kind of hard to be good at robbery if you're going to let that nasty conscience of yours get the best of you. AAA says that 37.5 million Americans will hit the road this long holiday weekend, which sounds like a great reason to stay home. Megyn Kelly's Sunday night show took another dip in the ratings last weekend. It's been getting lower each week. This past Sunday, a rerun of America's Funniest Home Videos had more viewers. So MSNBC is now offering Tom Bergeron his own talk show. In Peterborough, Ontario, police arrested 41-year-old Lawrence Alfred Camright while biking downtown with an axe in his hand, covered in his own blood. Police are still trying to sort out the chaos, but they have confirmed there was no victim involved in the incident. Camright has been charged with publicly carrying dangerous weapons. This really wasn't such a shocker for local police as Mr. Camright has an extensive criminal record and is well known by officers and the local judicial system. He also has a history of drug addiction. Okay, so here's a little life tip for you. If you're going to go around riding your bike while carrying an axe and covered in your own blood, the police are going to want to talk to you. Glyphosate, the herbicide and the active ingredient in Monsanto Co.'s popular Roundup weed killer, will be added to California's list of chemicals known to cause cancer, effective July 7. But then everything is deemed cancer-causing in California. I mean, you got to cross state lines just to get a decent meal. You know those get-out-of-jail-free cards in the Monopoly board game? They don't work in real life. A Minnesota deputy arrested a man on a felony warrant over the weekend, and the suspect pulled out his Monopoly card. He went to jail. Directly to jail. He did not pass go, and he did not collect $200. Oh yeah, and that Monopoly money? That's not going to help you with bail either, Uncle Pennybags. Never miss a single episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch other Marlar House YouTube videos. Sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways. Purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs. Download audiobooks I've narrated. See my latest blog posts and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the mobile app tab at dailydoseofweirdnews.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and now, as a public service to the entire internet community, I will end the show. I'll see you next time, weirdos. I pledge allegiance Mr. Gorbachev, to the flag of the United States of America. Tear down this wall. And to the republic for which it stands. I have a dream. One nation. Free at last. Under God. Free at last. Indivisible. Thanks, God Almighty. Liberty. Free at last. And justice for all.